More than 100 days without answers. A national name putting the heat on the FBI to take over Jelani Day's death investigation. Why he says there are still questions that can't be ignored. Plus, tracking the new Omicron COVID variant, will it freeze your holiday travel plans this winter? The latest details this morning. Good morning, Central Illinois. I'm Oliviana Kelmes. Thanks for joining us on Weekend Daybreak Saturday. Let's get right to your top stories. It's, it's happening all too often. I mean, it really is. Please come to the attendance office. A local high school placed on lockdown for fights. Now parents are asking for more to be done. It all happened Friday afternoon. A large police presence was seen outside Central High School in Champaign. After shutting down the school for much of the afternoon, officials say several fights broke out. Developing more than 100 days after the body of Illinois State graduate student Jelani Day was discovered along the Illinois River, a national civil rights attorney now joins Reverend Jesse Jackson in the Rainbow Push Coalition to demand more answers in Jelani's death. Crump is known as an activist attorney working on high-profile cases like Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, George Floyd, Jacob Blake, Brianna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery. As WNE's Karen Iser reports, the family simply isn't satisfied with the current answers from local law enforcement. The Biden administration plans to ship 9 million COVID vaccines to Africa, bringing its total doses to the continent up to 100 million. An additional 2 million doses will be sent elsewhere worldwide for a total of 11 million abroad. This is part of President Biden's goal to send more than 2 million doses overseas in 100 days. Officials say tackling the virus everywhere is key to stopping new variants from developing across the globe. Meanwhile, at least five new cases of the new Omicron variant have been reported in New York, adding to confirmed cases in Hawaii, Colorado, Minnesota, and California. Earlier this year, it only took the Delta variant just about three months to become the dominant COVID strain in the U.S. Phil, do you know what I'm doing? Shivering? I'm practicing my hibernation <laughs> skills because you mentioned the S word here on Snow, set. Snow, yes. Snow, guys. So... Tell me that I don't have to practice this. <laughs> now, whenever this morning, we've now learned both James and Jennifer Crumbly were both arrested early this morning by Detroit authorities after a concerned citizen saw their vehicle and called local police. We're continuing to follow the details of this story as they develop. Students are paid a stipend while they're in the industrial job skills training program, and you can participate in the program for no charge. Buyers are uneasy even after more than a dozen have been arrested for smash and grab attacks on the West Coast. Shoppers and retailers are like feeling nervous about shopping this holiday season. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin has a story. we we'll see some breezy winds over the next week. Guys, you learn something new every week on Daybreak. <laughs> well, coming up, the music of the season. Vespers returns tonight when and where after the break. Quality time with Santa. Last night, Santa's Fun Shop in Springfield hosted its first night of the season. Kids are able to come make crafts, take home goodies, and of course, spend some time with the man in red.